So it's Sunday the 14th uh, and we've gone to the woods for a walk, or well, forest actually. Um, I've got a complaint that my arm wasn't long enough so I'm on a selfie stick now. Uh, you can't complain that my arms aren't long enough. Um, we moved uh, from the apartment on Wednesday, uh, just gone, and we're in a um, in another temporary house. It's just next door to the house we're going to end up in, so it's not too bad. So I'll play what we filmed of our move and the tour around the house now, uh, and then we'll come back to our Sunday walk in the forest. Uh, so it's Wednesday and it's finally move day, so we're getting out of this apartment and moving to a, a bungalow that's next door to the, our final bungalow. So this will be bed number five this in the last month. Uh, that we'll be staying in. Oh, so this is the second load of stuff, the final move. We've got all the stuff in the back, including Sienna, we didn't forget her, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be about 40 minutes across town until we get there. Uh, so we're just coming up to uh, what looks like our, our, what was our local restaurant um, facilities, uh, just here on the left. Um, we're not sure who who eats there. Probably the local builders or work people. There's a IT support there as well. Some other random businesses. Uh, so we've arrived at um, our compound where we're going to stay. Um, just on the left is what will eventually be our. Uh, Accommodation, um, and then uh, just around here, so we're going to end up staying. This will be home until we finally move into our, uh, our place. So this is our new gaff for now. Hopefully in about three weeks, but our final house will be exactly the same layout as this, which is quite good. So um, entrance hall into the living room, the fireplace. Uh, I would say downstairs loo, but it's a bungalow, so it's like a cloakroom. And we've got like a covered um, outdoor space. And one of the two back gardens. Uh, and then through this door here, we've got a shower room, like that. This will be Sienna's room, so we have a cot for there. She's got her own little wardrobe. And we got a bathroom there. Right. Bare bedroom here, yeah, which we're not going to use. I don't know if we're going to have any visitors while we're in this place. And then this is our room with a mozzie net and a view out to the back garden. I'm probably not going to have a go on that trampoline because I'll probably fall straight for it. And I don't think Sienna will be kicking a football into that goalpost. A bit of a view that way. Uh, and then we'll go back through the kitchen. Uh, down this little corridor bit to the dining room, which has still got all our shopping on the table. Up in the kitchen, 
in a massive fridge. And Sienna is exploring. So this is what I call back garden number one. So this is a undercover area. A uh, bit of patio, trampoline that's going to go because that's in the right state. More patio, another table and that. And then down this way is back garden number two. More of this. Side. It's a gardener's bits and pieces. No idea where this actually goes. Oh, right, we're out the front. So driveway. Testing out this uh, tumble dryer, it seems to work alright. Just had to clean the filter, it's all good. I don't know what all that junk is in our garage, but don't matter, we're not going to be here for too long anyway. So, so that was our move that we did on sun, uh, Wednesday. As I said, uh, it's Sunday morning now, um, 20 past 10, and we've come to the forest for a walkabout. There's a cafe and some waterfalls and caves, and apparently there's some monkeys around here as well. Um, we brought Sienna in a push chair. There she is. But the um, Joan, say hi. Hi. But um, the path's quite bumpy actually, so it's not really the most suitable um, terrain for it. So it seems getting bumped around a bit, but should be all right. Uh, so yeah, see what we can find while we're here. So we're in the forest, as you can see, which is. Uh, Quite nice. Um, we've got lunch booked for 12.30 at the Riverside Cafe which looks quite nice and uh, we're just going to try and find these caves and waterfalls so we'll see if we ever find them or if we get lost and never eat lunch and then we'll starve and die and you'll probably never see this video because we would have never made it out. <laughs> so as you can hear we're um, near the waterfall but on the path down there's this army of ants moving stuff it's like a black stripe so we're going to have to jump across them I suppose because I think they'll be pretty annoyed if we uh, if we trample on them we we'll flip flops Yes, these are the waterfalls. So we can get down the bottom there, let's see down the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me, there's a bit of a row. Because uh, we found the waterfall. Yeah. And then it carries on down there. I'm really trying not to fall in because these rocks are really slippery. That's pretty cool.
So that was lunch <coughs> in the forest, which is really nice. Sienna had uh, had a good amount of food as well, which is quite handy for us. Uh, and now we're going to head back uh, home. Part of it's this dirt track to, to get out of this forest. Finally lost it. Only took two weeks. 